Hello, <laughs> this is an honest and I hope informative look at the Lead Lenser H19R signature headlamp. Now I want to say, uh, looking at this light, it's not just a quick review and a couple of beam shots. I have thoroughly tested this light. Uh, I've been out in temperatures as low as minus 6 to see how the cold affects the battery. Um, I've used it in 5 or 6 different camps where I've had fairly long walk-ins and I've used it on a couple of cycles too. Honest and informative I hear you say, well later on in this video we will look at three areas of this light that I feel could actually be improved. Now LED Lenser claim that this is the best of the best lights out there in the market uh, and I will answer that and give you my opinion on that during this test. Uh, it's not a test against other lights but I have experience of using a light here from Exposure which is a really premium bike light and also another premium head torch manufacturer uh, Silva and this here is one of the Exceed series torches so I'll talk you know, a little about uh, what I think of the lead lenser compared to these to see if it is the best of the best. So what exactly is this headlamp? Right, it's a super high powered headlamp. It has a maximum setting of 4000 lumens on a boost mode. Uh, drop down from that onto a high and it puts out 1800 lumen. It then has a mid mode where it puts out 800 lumen and it has a, a low mode where it puts out 200 lumen. The run times, three and a half hours on high, I think seven and a half, seven hours on mid and 20 hours on the low setting. So this is the box that the light comes in. What all do you get in this box? Um, loads of goodies. I'm not going to show everything to you, but I can tell you, you have uh, a handlebar mount for your bike. Uh, you have a helmet mount for a cycling helmet. You have a tripod mount. Uh, you have all sorts of mounts and brackets and clips and cables uh, to make this really, really versatile. So you can use it in so many different uh, applications. There's even actually a remote control where you can control the light from your wrist. And I think that could be handy if you've maybe got it on your bike helmet and you can have that mount actually on your handlebars and then you could control the light from there. So some other features of the light. Uh, the whole unit weighs 374 grams and has an IP68 rating, which means it's submersible in water uh, up to a meter, I think, for 30 minutes. Now you're getting straight stuck into it. You've got three buttons here which control uh, the, the light. Uh, the, the middle button actually controls both, so when you press that on, it defaults and cups up, comes up in a combination of spot and flood beam, and that's your 1800 lumen. Press it again, it'll drop down to the mid setting, which is 800 lumen, and press it again, it'll go on to the low setting, and that's your 200 lumen. Okay, so then you can individually control each of the spot or flood beams. So press this button once, that pulls this flood up on high power, mid power, and low power. And then we can bring this spot on on exactly the same high power on the spot, mid and low. But you can also do any combination, bringing the flood down low and the spot up high, for example. So, uh, improvements on this light. Okay, the first one is the magnetic charging. I have no issues with the magnetic charging. I think it is a brilliant idea. It just keeps the light completely sealed and provided you manage your cables, no worries at all. And I have a slight but, and that is the contact here between the charging ports and the charging cable is very small and it's not really powerful enough. Now, if you're charging this light at home, no worries at all. But I would go on a lot of camping trips and I use a lot of power in the light and I maybe decide, you know, I want a wee top up of, of power. And when I then set this up like this to charge and I'm maybe in a tent and I've got this set somewhere, any movement at all will knock this cable off and it's not getting charged. So I find you sort of have to frequently check that to make sure that it uh, is still connected. So that's the first thing. The second thing, um, I'm not actually, I'm gonna talk more about it and I, I'm not actually gonna show you because it knocks the light out. And what actually happens is when you double press this um, to do your boost, It'll only give you one boost for your 20 seconds. If you ask the light to then do a boost again, it kind of senses an overload and it knocks the light into reserve power. Um, and the first time I went up and tried this, 
it happened, I thought, flip, what's happened to my battery power? But that's actually what's happened, is it knocks the power down. And the only way that you can get it going again, uh, where it'll run full power, is to actually disconnect the battery. So I think once you're aware of that, it's absolutely no problem. But certainly to begin with, you know, I'm looking at the battery levels here and I'm seeing, you know, 75% power. I try that boost, think, yeah, that's great. I then try the boost again and then the battery is then showing 25% power and I didn't actually know what was wrong, but it's just simply a safety mode to stop the light from overheating. So it'd be nice if you could maybe get a couple of, of boosts out of it or if LED Lenser made that really well known to you so you kind of knew what it was. It took me a couple of goes before I actually found that out. So you can control this light through your phone. So I think this is actually amazing and I've had so much fun with this. So I've set it up at the moment. I'm going to hit connect uh, and we'll just see uh, real world. That's it now connected. So that is how fast it has connected to the app. Uh, we're going to go in here. I'll probably do a screenshot of this or a screen video under direct control. And what this allows me to do is that I can control the light and control the beams individually from my phone. And you know, if you're walking along and you just want to optimize the light, you can just do that and it's brilliant. The other feature on this is it gives you uh, and tells you your exact amount of battery power, uh, which is run at 98% battery power. So we are now connected, you know, up a little bit. Uh, if I'm in looking on the direct control here, I can change, you know, the actual functions. You know, so just an example, I can put this on a blink mode. I can put it on a uh, position where it just, it just works off a different sort of frequency. And I can also then do, uh, there's like an SOS on it. So I'm not going to go through every single feature on the app, but the app is really, really brilliant. And I've actually found that it works well, it connects well, and it's a super feature for battery life. And as I said, you know, for that individual control here of my spot and flood beams to optimize the actual light. So absolutely brilliant feature. So what else have I got to say about this light? Um, I must say, you know, when I've used it, I have honestly had so much fun out of it. Um, I found the light, you know, really comfortable. I mean, you know, it's 300 odd grams. It's really, really comfortable. And the tilt range here on it is brilliant. I mean, it really comes well down or it can really shine and actually go really high there. So the tilt range on this is one of the best, you know, that I have actually seen. Um, I tell you what, I'll let you in a secret. Dead Lenser sent me this light. And what happens is when a company sends me products, if I like them, I keep them. If I don't like them, I sell them on eBay. I'm a small content creator and that just helps support my, my channel. So is this one a keeper? Yeah, it, it definitely is. I have had so much fun with it. And you know what? On any camping trips in the winter, I just wouldn't be without it. It's just been a joy to use. Uh, it's just got so much power, so much versatility. It is brilliant. So is this LED Lenser H19 or Core Signature the best of the best? This is only my opinion. It absolutely is. So for example, um, why does it better the exposure? It betters the exposure in respect, in respect of the individual beam patterns. The exposure has a good dump out of light. It's 3,300 lumen, but it just lacks reach or throw of light. This here actually gives you both, or you can individually control it. Against the silver, now I've used many other head torches, so it's just my experience of, I'm just using one here as an example. The build quality on the LED lenser completely blows this away. I'm not gonna talk about individual things on it, but you know, there are a few issues like the connections, you know, are just not as good and the cable housings for the light, you know, are, are very, very poor on a light. That's this sort of, when I say cable housings, I kind of mean the way the cable fits into this. It's very, very poor. So we've got the bill quality issues. Uh, then there's also just really the beam pattern. And the beam pattern, again, uh, I much prefer it because it's controllable. I mean, I, I spoke about that so many times, but it's a really, really amazing feature. 
you're then looking at other issues where you have or other attributes where you have controllable um, functions through the app on your phone which is absolutely brilliant I kind of thought that I would never use it but I actually do um, other little features like the you know the reflective headband just the premium quality of, of the light I mean is, is absolutely fantastic uh, and with a seven-year warranty if you register it you know it really is for me you know the best of the best certainly that I have come across so look, thank you for watching. If you like my content, uh, give me a like please on the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to support me. Uh, and also if there's any other content or any feedback you've got for me, leave that in the comments. So until the next time.